Well, the manufacturing defect could actually make the Boeing 737 MAX vulnerable to a lightning strike, which could then lead to dual power engine loss. So this all comes after a list of other issues, including a software glitch and at least two other flaws that were discovered since the aircraft has been grounded. The newly proposed airworthiness directive came after reports that certain exterior panels on the aircraft may not be enough if lightning were to hit. The proposal would require detailed inspection of a metallic lining that serves as a shield against those types of strikes. It would also require replacement of any excessively reworked panels and some thorough modification. The directive was posted Tuesday on the Federal Register's website. The FAA is proposing this before any of the 737 MAX jets return to air. About 800 of these jets have been grounded since last March after two deadly crashes killed 346 people. The grounding of these jets is expected to be lifted sometime this year, although no specific date has been announced yet. From Renton, Kira L. Fallen, King 5 News.